What's going on guys? Mr. AJ is here bringing another Pokemon X and Y battle. This is time it's up against Matthew. Matthew's bringing in this Entei, Suicune, he's got the Crobat, he's got the Metacham, Gardevoir, and Porygon 2. Now I'm running with my own Porygon 2, Heatran, Metacham, Gyarados, Weezing, and of course Togekiss. So how does this battle turn out? One way to find out, let's go straight into it. Remember guys, if you haven't done so yet, you like, subscribe, greatly appreciate it. So here we go, Matthew is issuing a challenge. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Porygon 2. And he's going to lead off with his own Porygon 2. So we got Porygon versus Porygon. He's going to withdraw his Porygon 2, fortunately for us. For us. And he's going to say, no, Batman! I'm Batman! We're going to go ahead and trace Batman's Infiltrator ability. And we're going to go ahead and Thunder Wave it. So Batman is no longer fast. Which is going to really, really, really work out for us. So he's paralyzed, <coughs> and he's going to withdraw Batman now. So withdrawing, he's going to send out Entei next. Entei coming in, ready to get some work done. I obviously don't want to stay in for an Entei, because Entei could learn some kind of fighting attack. He would not want to stick around for that. And he can learn a whole bunch of other things. So, <coughs> we get the Critical Ice Beam, which is... <coughs> we get the Critical Ice Beam, which is awesome. I apologize, guys. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to go ahead and take this extra sensory. Now here comes the Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is going to paralyze the Entei as well. So we're just paralyzing everybody. Might as well, right? Parahats are awesome. Parahats are awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and run our Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack is going to do a small amount of damage. Here comes a Fire Blast. We fortunately avoid it. Here comes my other Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack, once again, with the Stab, is going to do a good chunk of damage to Entei. He's going for Eruption. Now, Eruption is based off of how much HP he has left. So he probably should have led with that attack. But, that's fine. So, Entei is going to come out, and here comes Porygon 2. Or Entei is going to go down, and here comes Porygon 2. He's going to trace our Infiltrator, which we traced from the, from the last Pokemon. And we're going to T-Wave the Porygon 2 finally. So, Porygon 2 is finally paralyzed, and he's going to turn around and Toxic us. So, we've been Toxic now. We've been Toxic now, so we have a limited lifespan. So, there we go. Taking that Toxic damage. We're hurt by poison, and we're gonna go ahead and recover. Because we figured, hey, we can recover, then we can switch out. We got 156, that should uh, give us more life. And the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's gonna take us down to 165, but the Toxic does more than I expected. It takes us down to 141. So at this point, it's a losing battle. So I said, let's switch now. I should have just switched immediately. So we're gonna go ahead and send out Metacham next. Here comes the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's gonna hit, it's gonna hurt. We were able to take it, and here comes our Ice Punch. Ice Punch isn't going to do much against the Porygon 2. We avoid the Toxic, and now we're going to get a Drain Punch against it. Drain Punch is going to absolutely decimate the Porygon 2. Super effective. Heals us up nearly all the way, but not quite. The Porygon 2 went for Thunderbolt the next turn. Thunderbolt's going to do a small chunk of damage. And it gets the Parahex, which makes my Metachamp pretty much useless. Here he goes with drawing the Porygon 2, and he's going to send out Suicune next. Suicune comes out, we're going to go ahead and fortunately run, well, first of all, we got the pressure going, we're going to go ahead and run the Drain Punch and see how much damage it's going to do, and it's going to do a lot of damage to Suicune. Gets the crit hit, and it's going to heal us back up to full health again. Suicune's going to go ahead and have the lefty, he's going to get a little bit of health back, but since I did way over half damage, we know he's going to go down to a, another attack. Here comes the Skull. The Skull's going to do some damage to us. We're going to survive it. And here comes the Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is going to finish off Suicune. In hindsight, I probably should have just ran the Drain Punch, but we just went for the for that. Why not? Here comes Gardevoir. Gardevoir is going to come out, ready to get some work going. We're going to go ahead and switch out our Medicham. And we're going to send out Porygon 2. Porygon 2 comes out. We're going to trace the Synchronize ability, which is going to which is going to transfer any kind of thing that we get. However, we got the Toxic earlier, so we aren't able to transfer it. So, we're hurt by Poison. Gardevoir is going to use Moonblast, and Moonblast is going to hurt. We survive it, though. Somehow we survive it, and we T-Wave this Gardevoir. So, at least we've got Gardevoir T-Wave. So, we've T-Wave just about everything on the team, fortunately for us. Um, we are going to go down to this Toxic, almost, but we're going to go down anyways here in a minute. We're going to go ahead and recover, just to see if that 
that allow for us to survive another decent turn. Take out the Moon Blast. If we have decent HP after this, I'll go ahead and switch out. Here comes the Toxic. How much is it going to do? We survive with 13. So we know that we have to switch out now. We have to. <coughs> and when I spring them back in, it has to be off of a death in order to survive anything. So here we go. We're going to take this Moon Blast. Moon Blast is going to finish. Um, Moon Blast is going to do quite a bit to our Weezing. So now we're going to go ahead and get our Black Sludge recovery. He's going to withdraw Gardevoir, not wanting to take a Toxic or a Sludge or anything. Here comes Athena, the Hitmonchan. Or Hitmonchan. Wow, the Metacham. We're going to Sludge Bomb him. It's not going to do a lot. Or her. It's a she, my bad. We're going to withdraw. We're going to withdraw because we don't want to take a Psy Shock. Not Psy Shock. Wow, Psycho Cut. We're going to trace the Pure Power ability on Athena. Athena is going to hit Mega Evolve to Mega Medicham. So here comes Mega Medicham. Getting ready to get some action going. So Mega Medicham is here. Here comes the Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut is going to hurt, but it's going to finish off our Porygon 2 anyway, so it's okay. Here comes our Togekiss. Togekiss is awesome. He's going to withdraw Athena. And he's going to send out Batman. So here comes Batman. We're going to go ahead and run an Air Slash on Batman. Batman's not going to appreciate it. It's going to take a little bit of damage. But it's going to get some uh, Black Sludge health back. We're going to go ahead and run Air Slash. And it's going to get a crit hit. Something that happens for us for once. And it's going to do quite a bit. Gardevoir is going to come in next. Gardevoir is going to have to eat this Air Slash. We're going for flinches now. And we get the flinch on the Gardevoir. Here comes another Air Slash. Hoping for another flinch. Here comes a Thunderbolt. So we didn't get another flinch. Thunderbolt's going to hit, but we're going to be able to eat that up pretty well because we're really bulky. Here comes another Air Slash. That's going to finish off the Gardevoir. So Gardevoir done and out, which is awesome for us. So here comes Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is coming out. It's going to get that Trace ability. It's going to Trace Serene Grace. Now we're going to go ahead and get this Air Slash off. Air Slash is going to finish off Porygon 2. So Porygon 2 done out. Lifted. <laughs> so here comes Athena now. Athena comes in and is going to get a Bullet Punch off on us. Now we're bulky enough that we can take that. Even though it's super effective. From a Mega Metatan by the way. Here comes another Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch is going to hit. We're going to be able to barely survive. And we're going to get this Air Slash off. On Athena, that's going to be super effective, and Athena is going to go down and out, and that's going to be our battle here with Matthew. So make sure you check his channel out, guys. Subscribe, and also make sure you all go ahead and subscribe to me. I greatly appreciate it. Remember, the road made rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Until next time, guys. Catch them all. See ya.